Hello guys, welcome back, welcome back everyone. Uh, today I'm going to start working on a new custom uh, slip-on muffler. I tried to go with a uh, stainless steel. Um, the muffler is gonna be a 22 gauge uh, stainless steel sheet metal, so it's gonna be uh, coming out and start with, the, with the, just a regular sheet. I'm just going to cut it and then I'm going to start to work with this little thing over here and I try to make that shape for uh, what's in my mind yeah because uh, you know in my mind I can put it together so good so easily and I know it's gonna be look badass but uh, <laughs> do it and actually finish it yeah that's uh, another story but I try my best uh, so it's what's in my mind I'm just going uh, I try to do exactly the same and also just came up with a new logo from now on I'm going to use on my uh, exhaust or complete systems I'm going to use that uh, logo all the time uh, unfortunately I didn't use it in my, in my first three uh, systems but uh, from now on I'm going to use it and install it and that's gonna be my my very own logo and um, just make it more more unique I think I guess uh, I'm not going to go with the full system this time I'm just going to uh, make the muffler to the factory header ending so that just you're able to slip on uh, install it with the clamp and uh, hopefully it's gonna be a nice sound definitely gonna be a badass look uh, I think it's gonna be like a I think, uh, how do you call it? Uh, megaphone? I think it's megaphone or super cone. Ah, something like that. Something like that. But uh, but the inside I'm going to make the, the perforated tubing and everything, the ending. And my first thought was I'm just going to weld it on the back. But I try to make it removable so you're able to, uh, if eventually the, um, the, the insert is going to burn out, and completely disappear basically so you're able to just drill the, the rivets off remove the back install fill up with new fill, fillings um, fiberglass I think yeah fiberglass I, I tried to go with something else but so far so good that's that's good for several months a year maybe a little more than a year is good enough to hold the, the fiberglass and then just remove the rivets drill it and um, and you can fill up again with, with the fresh new uh, fiberglass filling. So uh, yeah, that's that's my uh, uh, that's what I really want. So I hope I'm able to make it because the ending gonna be unique, not just a regular round or oval. So there's gonna be a little bit uh, different end. So that's gonna be a little extra work to make it looks nice. Also make it uh, removable. Uh, anyway, so hopefully everything is going to be uh, work well and I didn't use this machine ever so uh, I just, uh, why not? So if it's going to be a nice uh, muffler, I think I'm going to make a few uh, extra more. I, I try to make at least once a month because you know many people are watching a lot of videos uh, a lot of people who has rocket, it doesn't matter what kind of bike, and some people just don't want to bother the header. They want to go stay that way because, you know, Triumph designing that way, so obvious that it's good, but it's actually not, because if you if you checking the, the length, you know, the first cylinder has much more uh, until some kind of point if you try to figure out, but, you know, supposed to be all cylinder, you know, supposed to be the same length, basically, that's that's uh, not just performance, but that's definitely good for a, uh, optimal engine running and optimal performance. And so, uh, but this time I will just definitely go just a regular slip-on and I'm just going to start. Enjoy! Push 
shit It takes some time for hate Never take a second of bullshit Make them come at you straight Some of evil catch you running Coming from a vegetable fate Everybody has a purpose Something that can deviate See the adrenaline how the muffler looks like at the moment uh, I just wanted to give a little oval shape oval and also like a cone uh, and then I have to finish it up with some kind of uh, badass closing uh, I'm going to made it that way so I'd like to do it that way so there's gonna be a cap um, fixed uh, by rivets so if you need to just do some kind of fillings, you can just drill off the, the, the rivets and you can redo it again and refill it for yourself if uh, eventually the filling is going to burn out or just completely just disappear because of the heat. Um, this is going to be just on the factory header. Uh, I still have to work on the, the mounting point and this is just going to be uh, something like this and uh, put the mount mounting point welded on <coughs> and then uh, come, off with, uh, come off with the ending and still uh, going to give that uh, long way kind of brushed surface uh, unfortunately when I uh, work on this uh, machine you know it's full of it lines for some reason it's an old old thing and I think I have to <laughs> make some kind of uh, sanding on it to the eliminating these marks because it's all visible on the surface. I'm able to send it out, hopefully, so there's gonna be a little more, a little extra work, but I need to do just like, <laughs> I, need a, I need a new sanding paper. I think the 120, actually it's 150. 150 is gonna be good enough and just <laughs> need a lot of effort but definitely will be uh, a very nice and good looking I don't wanna I can I can polish it mirror polish completely but I don't really wanna because uh, uh, because my new badge my new logo is gonna be polished anyway and you know polish don't polish not really good but this is a, a brushed surface with the polished logo I think will be looks will looks way better and so um, that's what I'm going to work on but definitely need a, a new sanding paper now but but uh, yes we are uh, we, uh, am I am able to completely eliminating those little marks yeah so um so there's gonna be a little, little extra more work and then I'm just gonna put on uh, that's a good thing I was able to use um, the, the factory clamp 12 millimeter um, opening 12 millimeter socket and just put it on nicely 
and it's gonna be uh, install the mounting point and that's it it's gonna be looks just like that because right now a little bit not touching it but it's not not even tight yet so there's gonna be something like this and I think it's gonna be a badass also the sound so my next video gonna be showing the sound yeah so um so I'm going to I'm going to end the video here there's gonna be a second video where it's going to show the end and uh, also in the other video is gonna be definitely more and more time lapse uh, because still a lot of things to do with this until it's gonna be ready completely ready and then I'm really curious to hear it how's it's gonna be sound but um, this is a low RPM engine big torque uh, big CC and the stainless steel usually the stainless steel give um, and it depends on it's a four cylinder uh, Japanese doesn't matter Japanese just a high RPM engine or a V twin and um, that's why I'm curious because usually the stainless steel gives a little more uh, more crispy sound more uh, mm, how can I say but anyway, yes, I can say that yes, just uh, the stainless steel give a little more more crispy, not that deep because usually the carbon, uh, the carbon fiber and some kind of uh, aluminium material kind of mufflers give a little more deeper sound because of the reson uh, the frequency is works differently inside. But yes, I'm, I'm really curious how's this going to sound. But um, I made a, I made a several exhaust in the past not just for this, I, for, I, I made for uh, um, several other bikes, I made the exhaust and uh, always came out good so I think this is gonna be also a very very nice sound uh, and also very very nice looking muffler gonna be and the, what my main point is like always it's gonna be unique because that's gonna be the only one and uh, and for the next one I'm going to make following this Following this, I'm going to make a full system. The muffler not gonna be same exactly, similar, definitely gonna be a little bit similar, but <clears throat> also I'm going to come up and create some kind of new muff, uh, new header design again, and come up with a new system. That's gonna be a full system. This this time, just uh, I just wanted to give you a little because a lot of people uh, who owns Rocket, they don't wanna mess with this. They they like it this way. They don't wanna go that deep. They want to change the sound a little bit, they want to change the look a little bit, they're going to uh, lose some weight because this is definitely going to be a very lightweight muffler and originally the two big cannons are kind of heavy, I think the full, the two cannon and the, and the catalytic converter in the bottom, that's, that's way over 40 pounds and this one I don't think how much is gonna be maybe 8 or 10 I don't know yet but I'm going to measure it but you know so like I said more, a lot of people they don't want to go that deep they just want to change the sound and the look a little bit and and uh, this when this is exhaust is gonna be ready I'm definitely going to put on uh, put on eBay or, or uh, just get definitely going to list it so alright yeah so that's it for now guys I'm going to finish this video here um, and come up shortly with the with the with the second part and uh, yeah I'm very very curious and so if you like the video please hit the like and if you like what I'm doing yes uh, please subscribe and see you in my next video peace.